Hello and welcome back to my crafting desk. Today I'm going to share with you how to make this square knot bracelet. Um, but the fun thing about it is we're using really tiny hold beads. Technique, you can use the smallest and finest of beads um, that you have. A couple of things you will want are whoop, just beading needles and they are kind of like uh, a bow. I don't know what you want to call that, but this just helps for threading your beads onto a onto your beading cord. It's a fairly sturdy beading cord um, and you'll want it to match whatever color you're going to do your bracelet. This one, the one I make today is going to be a little bit different from this one, however it's going to be the exact same technique. I wanted to attempt this bracelet today on a suede cord. I just didn't have the color I wanted. So I'm going to try this rat tail cording and you'll still get the technique of it down. Um, this one's on cotton cording. You can use wax. I started this one on wax thread, um, which is nice too, but I was going for more of a chunky look. So I have two pieces of 20 inches and two pieces of about 18. That will probably be excessive, but I just wanted to make sure um, that I had enough because I'm not really sure how much it's going to take. I have, you can see here, already pre-strung three sets of beads. This bracelet today is going to have three rows of the tiny beads. An 18 inch piece of rat tail cording. I've just folded it in half and then I'm going to take my already pre-strung beads and I am going to tie this to the center of my 18 inches. And you'll want to make sure that you tie this nice and secure. Okay, so now I have my three strands tied on to the middle of my 20, I'm sorry, my 18 inch piece of cord. And that's a little bit of a chore, but if you're only doing one, it'll be much easier. If you're doing three, it's going to be a little bit more of a headache. Okay, and then I just have it secured up here with a clamp. You can secure it on a clipboard, however you like. Now what we do is, I'm going to clamp this down here too so that I have so that I have a nice firm working area. My 20 inch piece of thread, tie a knot. This is just going to be basic square knotting. Also, I did secure this with a little bit of super glue just in case. So I'm just going to start off with a regular knot. Then we will start with our um, square knotting. I'm going to tie one end into a knot so that I remember what my leading string is for my square knots. Now that I've gone a little way, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the other end and get started on this end. Now this end is always more difficult to tie. Like I was saying it just takes a little bit more time on this end because you do want to make sure these are snug so that you're not seeing a lot of gappy thread through your beads. Okay, I'm just going to find my middle again and I am going to tie these to this. Now secure them the best way you can. So I just knotted my string onto my other piece of cord. Like I said, Chihuahua, just take your time, do the best you can, knot it as securely as you can, and do a little dab of super glue. That'll make you sleep better uh, at night, I'd wager. <laughs> Tie my next piece of string on with just a regular knot, and then I'm going to begin my square knotting process again. Um, you could do, you could even do this in you could do a friendship bracelet, you could do a cobra stitch, uh, lots of, you know, whatever you like. I like square knotting. I do have a detailed video 
on square knots if you do need that. Now that I've gone a little bit of the way, I am going to check this length. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. Check this length on my brace on my wrist and see how I like it. And look, it's getting pretty close to being the perfect size. Um, I intend to do a button closure on this bracelet instead of the sliding knot closure. But if you need to know how to do this, this, that's also in the video I will post below. Off our square knots. And I am just going to tie a regular knot and just try to make it as smooth as you can. And then I'm going to dab some super glue. Now, normally I like to use gel super glue, but since moving my crafting desk around, I haven't got all of my supplies out yet, so we're going to have to make do with, with this. Okay, my super glue is dry, and look, that's where I put too much. <laughs> I really, like I said, prefer gel super glue, or usually if I have to use this, I'll apply with a toothpick so that I don't make a mess like that, but there it is. Um, you still get the technique of this bracelet down. Now I'm just going to clip off the um, two extra strings that were from our actual square knotting. And yes, I'm using uh, toenail clippers or nail clippers. I find they are the easiest for my hands to work with, so I keep a couple pair in my crafting desk. Okay, just thread my button on. And I'm going to tie a knot. You can choose to, you can see there's a lot of thread on here, so adjust your thread accordingly. I just was not um, sure because this is only the second one of these I've made. So, well, uh, pretty. Tie that one and just do a double check. So I've made the best little loop I can possibly get. And let's try the finish product on. The bracelet's finished. Here's the sliding knot closure style and here is the button style. Whichever way you like, it doesn't matter. Um, one strand, three strands, gosh, you could go all out and even do more strands than that. Um, so I hope I've inspired you to be able to use some of those smaller beads in a new way. And thanks for watching Lacquer and Lace.